Imagine an AI that can take control of your computer, navigate its way through documents, fill out forms, respond to emails and perform complex tasks that you typically do, using any application on your computer to achieve the goal you set it. Imagine how much more productive and profitable you'd be. Well, that's what Anthropic announced with the new Claude AI model. Effectively, an AI agent that will transform the future of work and business. AI agents represent phase three of the AI revolution. Phase one being chatbots, phase two being reasoning. But in phase three, think AI employees and CEOs managing complete marketing, sales, and social media with little to no oversight, then reporting back to you on the results. If you've read chapter two of The Wolf is at the Door or my latest blog on AI agents, you know phase three is set to reshape the economy and transform how you run your business. If not, click the link below to grab the free report. But for those of you that don't know, let's break down exactly what AI agents are, what they do, use cases, and how to prepare for it in time for 2025, because these changes are coming hard and fast. So what is an AI agent? In simple terms, an AI agent is a software that can interact with its environment collect data, then use that data to perform tasks that it predetermines will help it achieve the goal set for it by you, the user. This is a huge deal. We're talking about more than just basic automation here. We're talking about a team of digital employees. AI agents aren't limited to following preset prompts and workflows. They have the ability to act and analyze independently, adapt to new situations, and even learn new skills on their own. In Anthropic's case, it works by taking screenshots of your computer, then based on what it finds, it re-prompts itself until it achieves the end goal. So let's ask Claude to navigate to Claude.ai within my Chrome browser and ask Claude within Claude.ai to create a fun 90s themed personal homepage for itself. Claude opens Chrome, searches for Claude.ai, and then types in a prompt asking the other Claude to create a personal homepage for itself. And here's what's important to understand. According to OpenAI board member Brett Taylor, there are three types of AI agents. One, personal agents, which are general purpose assistants that can handle a wide range of tasks. Things, scheduling meetings, booking flights and hotels, which is what Google is actively working on with their software called Jarvis. Two, persona-based agents, which is AI specialized for specific roles, such as sales agents that close deals and research your prospects' needs, which is what Salesforce and Microsoft have already created. And three, company agents, AI agents that represent a brand and interacts with customers directly, kind of like chatbots, but these agents can look into a customer's purchase history and troubleshoot problems based on photos. In Microsoft's case, they've successfully tested a suite of agents to close 20% more deals, resolve customer cases 12% faster, and increase marketing conversion rates by 21.5%. These aren't small numbers. To smaller businesses, this could be tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars in additional revenue, not to mention savings by cutting headcount. For those of you concerned about agents misbehaving like we've seen in the past year, in Microsoft's Copilot program, you can access a log to see which tools and steps an agent has used to complete their task. In which case, you can then approve or disapprove of the next action the agent takes. How will agents reshape the economy and how might they increase or even decrease your sales in the year ahead? Here's where you need to listen closely because it's not black and white like a lot of people are telling you. And I'm gonna be blunt. Just as you're looking to cut costs, increase profits and drive sales with AI, so are your competitors and so are your customers. Agents are fundamentally going to change not just how you do business, but the economy. I share this with you not to scare you, but to prepare you by looking at this through a logical lens. When consumer behavior evolves as a result of agents, so do their expectations of your work, speed as well as cost. Your business needs to be 10 steps ahead of this, right? 
Well, that's why I break down all of this in a free detailed report you can get in the link below. Currently, you can use different tools to create your own agents to automate various tasks that I've put in the report for you. But understand this, this is gonna be ramped up massively this month when Microsoft allows clients to create their own agents with greater ease using Copilot Studio to help automate routine tasks. So what is the urgency of understanding what AI agents will mean for productivity and profitability? Every single tech company from Google, Meta, Anthropic, and OpenAI are aggressively in a battle to control the marketplace. There's a rush to get their products to market first in meaningful ways, which means this transformation is gonna happen quickly because both you and your customers will soon be able to create your own personal agents to perform tasks that you would normally hire out for. Think public relations, sales, consultants, coaches, accountants, and more. It's critical as a business leader to take time to consider if your services might be replaced by agents. Otherwise, you're putting your cash flow at risk when it doesn't have to be. So the question is, how do you adapt to this change? First, find areas in your business that could benefit from agents. Second, see how it could speed up the delivery of your services to your clients to increase efficiency. But the third and most important step is to see what components of your service, if any at all, may your clients choose to opt for an AI agent over you. The number one aim of the game in phase three of the AI revolution is foresight over hindsight. Don't wait on this, grab the free report below.